Hello there, Commonwealth from Now what is this? Reminding us of Super Mario Odyssey in 2023 with a text with the following wording? No doubt, Super Mario is in its big year in the US, with the theme park area opening in Hollywood, construction in Florida, and fittingly movie premieres in theaters this April. Still one thing is missing the game of this year, and after only having Mario Strikers in 2022, we all need a big Mario title in the second half of 2023. An open world mainline game after the tease we got with Bowser's Fury two years ago in the Mushroom Kingdom cinematic universe this year. So be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell as we're going for 2023 likes for a new open world Super Mario game this year. By the time we reach October 29, six years have passed since the last mainline brand new 3D Mario game released. Super Mario Odyssey, which brought the franchise back to its open zone 3D roots, established in 1996 by Super Mario 64. In other words, we are long overdue for a new Mario, just like with Zelda, but unlike Breath of the Wild, Super Mario Odyssey never had any major paid DLC. And we haven't seen any new big releases since then, and then I don't mean just for 3D, but also 2D, which has been replaced by Mario Maker. And this no Mario game in 6 years is a longer gap than at any point in the history of this franchise. A series that, unlike Zelda, was used to having new games every 3 to 4 years when it comes to 3D games, not counting 2D handheld games, which were far more frequent. The only exception being Mario 64 to Mario Sunshine, which was also an almost 6 year long wait. And what could take so long? An open world revolution. You know, the one that secured Zelda Breath of the Wild Game of the Year awards at Mario Odyssey's expense in 2017 and 2018. Since that encounter, it has been the clear next step for the franchise, and we got a sneak peek into this transition in 2020 with the reveal of Bowser's Fury, followed by the release in February 2021, bundled in Super Mario 3D World Switch. The first attempt at linear open map Super Mario, which was received by all of us with universal acclaim. Many even said it was better than Super Mario Odyssey. Two years have then passed, and we get this promotional email from Nintendo of America. Six years after the big reveal at the 2017 Nintendo Switch presentation, right before the opening of Super Nintendo World Hollywood, and just months away from the Super Mario Bros. movie premiere around the world. We haven't seen anything of the Mario team. And in particular, 3D Mario director Motokura-san, as 3D Mario producer Koizumi-san has only been hosting the Nintendo Directs, but not revealed any new mainline Mario adventures since doing it for Super Mario Odyssey at the Nintendo Switch presentation in 2017. It is clear that the secrecy is at top level at Nintendo's Tokyo development offices, where the new Mario game is being made and probably has been on the production since 2018, which fits well with the time frame required to develop open-world titles. These games simply require 5 years on average from start to finish. We have seen this time and time again, and when it takes less, it also shows. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet and Cyberpunk 2077, I'm looking at you. Either way, the stars seem to align for an open world Mario title. 6 years after Super Mario Odyssey, a development timeline of over 5 years, so typical for open world games, with only working on a 6 to 8 hour long expansion in between, that being Bowser's Fury. Super Nintendo World reaching both Japan and the US, and the Mario movie with a bigger Mushroom Kingdom than in any other medium seen before premiering. The timing, lack of games and demand is definitely there, but what is the potential? Turning Mario into a next level platformer with far more action adventure elements in a bigger world and fewer loading screens than in the past. Not necessarily as a Super Mario Odyssey 2 right away, but a movie tie-in game. Just think of this, the art style used in the movie differs from the one seen in the games, and this alone is a selling point for recreating the world animated by Illumination into a video game. An open world Mario game that combines all the coolest elements of the franchise and also spin-offs to deliver what you cannot in say Super Mario Odyssey 2. Fan service, a Mushroom Kingdom with Toad Town, Mario Kart Rainbow Road, potentially a Mario Strikers minigame, Mario Party elements, and much more. But why a tie-in follow-up open-world game several months after the movie has premiered, since this could be a potential continuation of it and could come out around the same time as Super Mario Odyssey did in 2017, late October, the same month as the movie is expected to its streaming platforms and Blu-ray sales. With merchandise already covered by the movie, here is the opportunity for a double, perhaps even a triple dip for this Nintendo slash Universal collab. Super Nintendo World opening, theater premiere, followed by probably simultaneous Blu-ray premiere with tie-in game premiere. 
After all, the movie is an origin story for Mario, who is brand new to the Mushroom Kingdom and Princess Peach, which is completely opposite from the Super Mario Odyssey 2, which would be at the end of the current timeline. But what would Mario do in an open world Mushroom Kingdom game with other potential maps? Run, jump and battle foes while befriending allies, just like in the movie and past 3D Mario games. It is the same formula as seen in the past, only on a far grander scale, representing a universe of its own. The first game in the Nintendo Cinematic Universe. Just think of it, Universal is taking care of most of the movie and theme parks with a little help from Mario's creator Shigeru Miyamoto. So what is Nintendo left to do? Developing a video game like no other that ties to the world of the movie. But who would be the big winner in such a partnership? Nintendo, no shadow of a doubt. With this arrangement, by delivering one final open world Mario movie time game for the Switch in late 2023, they don't only make a lot of money off the game, they can also push Super Mario Odyssey 2 or a different 3D Mario game to launch with Switch 2 or release at a later point, as I think the next Mario Kart is a better fit for that launch task. A 2-3 to three year gap between the two would be perfect and say in 2026 or 2027, we have another Mario movie with another open world Mario movie game. This almost writes itself. 2D Mario is clearly covered by Super Mario Maker developed in Kyoto, so why not have an open world Super Mario movie game franchise and an open zone traditional Super Mario game franchise hand in hand both developed in Tokyo. Nintendo benefits from this, so does Universal, gamers and moviegoers. More things to enjoy, that is what the future of Super Mario is all about. And who knows, this might also be the future for Donkey Kong who might be present in an open world Mario movie game since he's a key character in the movie. Do you see what sort of impact this movie could be about to unleash? A potential new future of Nintendo movie games. First Mario, then Donkey Kong, before a potential side trip to Hyrule for the Zelda movie game 2-3 to three years after Tears of the Kingdom is out. The last one might be a stretch, unless the Zelda team revives the linear 3D traditional formula that was the staple for the franchise for nearly 20 years from Ocarina of Time. But back to Mario, as an open world game will elevate Nintendo even further beyond and not taking advantage of this opportunity will be such a waste as if there is one franchise Nintendo knows how to market and merchandise, then it is Mario, and the timing couldn't have been better. All the leaps we have seen for all Nintendo franchises on the Switch have been building up to this moment and the timing for it is simply perfect. The install base for the Switch is record high and the owners of the systems are more than ready to pay for an open world Mario movie game as we can save Super Mario Odyssey for the next system. Yes, 7-8 to eight years of waiting for Super Mario Odyssey 2 is long, but who knows, this movie game might be the Legends Arceus moment of Mario, where a prequel story game is better than the next mainline installment. Joking aside, this possibility should have been highlighted to a far greater degree than what we have seen up to this point. A Mario game like no other with an open world adventure, jokes, a braver Princess Peach, much like we have seen in the Mario Rabbids games, and naturally a proper cast of voice actors voicing the characters in-game. And here we find a fitting stage for Charles Martinet to voice in the Mario movie, Game. The platform or systems that have been his home turf since he became the voice of Mario in the 90s. There are just so many possibilities with this dual arrangement as we end up with more and different Mario games in a shorter span of time, while Nintendo guarantees that they have games for both the Switch and the inevitable successor. However, what is the perfect moment for revealing an open world game like this? If it is coming out this year, then as soon as possible. Now I'm not saying that it should steal Zelda's attention in the first Nintendo Direct of the year, but it wouldn't be the first time. After all, Super Mario Odyssey was revealed with its title at a Nintendo Switch presentation shortly before Breath of the Wild's release on March 3rd, 2017. A February Nintendo Direct is definitely an option and would make sense since the movie has still not premiered in theaters around the globe. But the impact might be even greater if the movie reviews well and then we get a game in this universe revealed in an E3 Nintendo Direct followed with a physical booth based on this one as the focal point of the booth at the biggest expo of gaming, right next to Super Nintendo World Hollywood and the theaters where the movie is still screening. A final option for such a reveal is a final Super Mario Bros. movie Nintendo Direct in late March, so after PAX East 2023 where Zelda is likely to shine bright, or before the movie premiere around Easter, and likely also before a potential Zelda Direct so a week after the movie has premiered. I think this is the most logical outline and most reasonable way to reveal an open world movie game without taking away attention from the most anticipated game this year, Tears of the Kingdom. 
though an open world Mario game is likely to send shock but not as much towards the Zelda team, but rather Nintendo's competitors, as with this movie game, Nintendo has another title that could reach the top 10 best-selling Switch games of all time, which is crucial to maintain the momentum of the Nintendo Switch all the way to the moment a successor is revealed and released. Until then, I just want to ask all of you in the comments what you think of the possibility of a dual 3D Mario game strategy, based on the movie world and traditional game world. And if there are some amazing arguments in favor, then we might do a follow-up video to this one. That is unless Nintendo reveals this Mario game in the next weeks. The first open world one that is a full 50 hour release and not an 8 hour plus to an existing title which was the case with Bowser's Few. At least we should all hope this hype doesn't end up with a Super Mario Odyssey DLC set in the world of the animated Mario movie. If you haven't already, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe and press the notification bell as it helps the channel grow in a year that could have some similarities to 2017, including with a big giveaway on our part. Last but not least, a big thanks to all of you for watching until the end, and to all our patreon.com slash patrons, and in particular, our role producer Charles Shesh. As always, you all rock, and please enjoy one or both of these two awesome videos.